Hello? Hello, am I audible? Uh, very good morning. In fact, it's almost pre-noon, but then to uh, we'll start with the good morning. The reason why, because it's a new beginning for us. Today is the second day of our conference. We have organized uh, under the tag of Art of Spreading Smiles. And yesterday was a fab, fab, fab event of uh, Indo-Russian friendship. T.P. Bhatia joining uh, uh, the school uh, from the other part of the world, from Russia, St. Petersburg, uh, Ravindranath Tagore School. And we had a great time. There was a garba. We had a folk song. There was a lot of interaction between teachers, students. And there was great fun all across. And today uh, is uh, Gandhi Jayanti. So the very first thing, we wish you all uh, one of the best movements of our life. This is Gandhi Jayanti. Let us uh, come across and uh, follow the principles which we are doing it for so long in this country. But still, we need to bring it uh, more in the essence of Gandhi and the principles of this Mahatma. So uh, with this, we'll begin uh, today's event. As I said, uh, uh, today is a uh, uh, second day and we are celebrating Gandhi Jayanti. But tomorrow we'll be going to Sabarmati, not today, tomorrow, Sunday, third morning, 10 o'clock. So today, though it's a Gandhi Jayanti, but we are going to celebrate Gandhi Jayanti in a different way. The reason why, because if you read Mahatma throughout your textbooks and in, in terms of uh, the other, other literature available, you'll find that Mahatma Gandhi would always speak and preach about the youngsters of India, the youth of India. आजकल की जो पीढ़ी है क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली है ये आजकल की पीढ़ी है जिनके हाथ में आपके पास वो आपके शोल्डर्स पे वो रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है टू मेक दिस कंट्री समथिंग कॉल्ड यू नो वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड इन ऑल स्पेक्ट्रम राइट फ्रॉम कल्चर इन ऑल डाइवर्सिटीज इकोनॉमी एंड इन एवरीवेयर वी आर द वी वी वांट टू सी आवरसेल्फ फॉर यू नो फ्रंट रनर्स और उसके लिए आज के यंगस्टर्स को मुझे अच्छा तरुण पीढ़ी के लिए भी स्ट्रेंथ पाई जाए थी कैपेसिटी पाई जाए दैट दे शुड कैरी देम सेल्स स्ट्रॉन्गली एंड दे शुड नॉट ओनली कैरी देम सेल्स बट कैरी द नो दंट्री ऑन देर शोल्डर्स एंड एंड डू वंडरफुल जॉब एंड विच यू ऑल आर डूइंग बट स्टिल वेन एवर वी थिंक अबाउट स्ट्रेंथ वेन एवर वी थिंक अबाउट स्टेमिना वी थिंक अबाउट एंड्यूरेंस तो स्पोर्ट्स के बारे में हम हमेशा जानते हैं स्पोर्ट्स से ये सब चीजें हमें मिलती है और हम आ, आ, हमेशा स्पोर्ट्स में जुड़े होते हैं मुझे यंगस्टर्स तो हमेशा जुड़े होते हैं स्पोर्ट्स में तो आज आ, उसी बात को लेके वी हैव अ गेस्ट विथ अस और आ, वो हैं आपने वो टाइटल तो देखा होगा टाइटल सबने देखा होगा कि आज के दिन के आर्ट ऑफ स्प्रेडिंग स्माइल्स का टाइटल है आ, क्रिकेट डायरी विथ प्यार तो क्रिकेट डायरी तो पता है डायरी राइटिंग हम सब करते हैं वट एवर वी थिंक द थॉट्स आइडियाज फीलिंग्स वट एवर द इमोशंस वी हैव वी पुट इट डाउन इन द डायरी पर क्रिकेट डायरी भी होती है वट एवर द एक्सपीरियंसिस वी हैव वो हम लिखते हैं पर ये डायरी विद प्यार है तो प्यार प्यार यानी स्नेह लव प्यार मतलब प्रेम प्रेम चोपड़ा नहीं प्रेम और ये सब है उसमें पी आर आजकल सब बच्चे जानते हैं पी आर यानी पब्लिक रिलेशन भी है लेकिन ये प्यार कुछ और है हमारा प्यार है आपके लिए हमारा स्नेह है लेकिन उसके अलावा ये प्यार ये है कि वी हैव दिस गेस्ट कॉल्ड परुलकर राजू इसके लिए वो प्यार है प्यार प्यार पी आर एक्चुअली इट इज परुलकर राजू एंड ही इज विद अस राइट नाउ एट दिस मोमेंट ही इज एक्चुअली ऑन द ग्राउंड बट जस्ट लिटिल बिट ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड आई आई रन डाउन एंड वी विल हैव अ इंट्रैक्शन विथ हिम राजू परुलकर मतलब दादर हिंदू कॉलोनी यहाँ पे वो पले बड़े हैं जिंदगी में बहुत कुछ मतलब हासिल करना जो हम सोचते हैं वो उन्होंने किया है मतलब क्रिकेट खेलना क्रिकेट खेलना सगड़े खेलता मी पढ़ खेलो तुम्हें पढ़ खेलना हम सब क्रिकेट खेलते हैं लेकिन क्रिकेट खेलने के लिए उनके जो टीममेट्स थे वो लेजेंड्स थे तो यू कैन इमेजिन द काइंड ऑफ पोटेंशियल ही हैड अबाउट क्रिकेट एंड स्टिल हैज द पैशन उसके अलावा उन्होंने स्टडीज भी बहुत अच्छी स्टडीज किया मतलब ही इज अ वेल क्वालिफाइड इन कैट इन कैट आई कुड से हाईली क्वालिफाइड इंडिविजुअल उसके अलावा उन्होंने बहुत सारी और भी चीजें की हैं पर ये सब मैं बताऊंगा तो उसका फायदा क्या है तो उसके पहले हम uh, उनसे बात करें मैं नीचे जाता हूँ हमारे ग्राउंड पे वी हैव अ ग्रेट ग्रेट टर्फ बहुत बढ़िया ग्राउंड है टीपी भाटिया का सो आई बी देयर एंड वील इंटरेक्ट फ्रॉम देयर विथ यू पर उसके पहले मैं एक बात कहना चाहूंगा कि इन इन महाराष्ट्र एक ट्रेडिशन है मतलब जो कार्तिकी और आषाढ़ी के वक्त महाराष्ट्र के बहुत से लोग लाखों लोग पंडरपुर जाते हैं 
और पंडरपुर जाने के बाद वहां पे विठल भगवान का दर्शन लेते हैं और हम जैसे लोग कभी जा नहीं पाते तो वो जो वारी करके आते हैं ते अपने समोर आले की आपण त्यांचे चरण स्पर्श करतो कारण ते वारी करून आले म्हणजे ते पण विठ्ठलाच रूप आहे असं काही आहे ते तो इसके लिए सबसे पहले तो मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहूंगा हमारे सीनियर मोस्ट फैकल्टी राहुल महाजन सर एक्चुअली मैं राजू परुलकर सर से कभी मिला नहीं था ना मुझे कुछ पता था उनके बारे में लेकिन राहुल महाजन सर प्रोफेसर राहुल महाजन सर इज अ वेरी वेरी ओल्ड फ्रेंड एंड 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 क्लोज बॉडी ऑफ परुलकर सर और एक बार उन्होंने थोड़ा क्रिकेट विकेट के बारे में मुझे थोड़ा बात करने अच्छा लगता है मैं थोड़ा खेला हूँ तो उन्होंने कहा चलो सर मैं आपको एक जगह लेके चलता हूँ ही said uh, we'll go to brebon stadium meri aankhe aise hi bharai because brebon stadium is one such ground where legends of international cricket not only indian but international cricket matlab jo ground pe uh, rail ilwar aur keith miller sir ne bowling ki aur matlab bade bade diggajo ne us pe batting ki hai to main hairan ho gaya aur main wahan jane ke baad wo maine kaha na jo pandarpur se aate hain to waise hi mere samne vithal mauli ke swarup hue the wo raju parulkar sir the जिन्होंने मुझे ब्रिबॉन स्टेडियम और उसके जो आ, आ, कुछ खास जगह है जहाँ पे उन्होंने ओल्ड ओल्ड टाइमर्स ओल्ड ओल्ड ग्रेड्स के फोटोग्राफ्स वगैरह तो वो देख के मैं आज भी उसके बारे में सोचता हूँ तो मुझे लगता है ये मेरे जिंदगी में वापस शायद ये ऐसा मोमेंट नहीं आएगा तो ये नीचे जाके मैं उनसे मिलने के पहले मैं दो लोगों को हाथ जोड़ के वापिस मेरी तरफ से आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस माई सिंसियर ग्रेटिट्यूड फर्स्ट राहुल महाजन सर टू मेक मी यू नो बी देयर इन दिस प्लेस फॉर ब्लेबॉन स्टेडियम एंड एंड सेकंड ऑब्वियसली राजू परुलकर सर तो अभी आप लोग कहीं मत जाइए दिस इज अ सेकंड डे एंड इट्स अ गुड टू बी अ ग्रेट डे तो मैं नीचे जाता हूं और ग्राउंड पे सर हैं उनसे बात करते हैं देन वी विल हैव अ ग्रेट टाइम टुगेदर सो बी देयर आई 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 विल बी आई विल बी देयर ऑन द ग्राउंड विद राजू सर सो टेक केयर जस्ट गिव मी अ मोमेंट गिव मी अ मोमेंट आई एम देयर Namaskar thank you Samir for my kind introduction and uh, giving me an opportunity to speak in your uh, hope program um how i started uh, my cricket journey well i mean you know there is a saying that uh, cricket has to be in the blood and i am from the category of c plus blood group c for cricket i would say um and actually i have been uh, fascinated for this game of cricket for particularly two reasons when i was a youngster uh first was where i reside that is a place called hindu colony uh, dadar okay and this particular hindu colony has been a very special place for me because it has um, uh, produced lot of top cricketers who went on to play for india and also uh, our colony is known for the top doctors so we had in our hindu colony like madhav mantri sir naren tamane sir uh, the legends two legends sunil gavaskar and uh, dilip wengsarkar and um, just uh, you know just outskirt of hindu colony we had uh, even the great uh, vasu paranspe so you know all in all uh, they were all my idols and uh, this is how um, i grew up basically looking at them though i didn't know any one of them at that time when i was in the school and um, of course my father he has been my role model uh, he is my um, i would say i i just look at him for whatever is the best thing um, he is doing and he was in pune engineering um, way back i would say and he was their captain and uh, what happened was uh, he won the championship and like you know when as a, as a youngster i was very fascinated for this game of cricket and actually it has come very natural to me and then like you know i i come from uh, king george high school which is just bang opposite my uh, residence where i live and uh, king george uh, balmon and uh, anjuman islam these were the three uh, brilliant schools uh, as far as the cricket is concerned and i was fortunate to be a part of uh, king george high school um and then i joined uh, and played uh, for them gail shield and then i went on to play uh, harris shield 
because in our school like i am from the old acc batch that is the old 11th standard you know now you have a 10th standard as a uh, acc so i was lucky to get um, even the harris shield um, and then i went on to play ria college which is just next to um, king george high school now it is called raja shivaji high school and after the school before i joined the cricket team like you know i was um, uh, you know we used to play like after the school gets over all my friends would come to my building because from there only the school buses will uh, uh, go to different destinations so uh, these guys they, they would come play with me for 15 20 minutes half an hour whatever is the thing and uh, we would play a very short game as far as the cricket is concerned and then they would go home so this is how like you know daily my cricket routine started from my own building and then i went on to play uh, for uh, my school my college uh, by playing all the tournaments okay so uh, let me uh, talk something about uh, maidan cricket because mumbai cricket is a maidan cricket okay uh maidan like you, you all know that we have uh, say one kede stadium cci azad maidan shivaji park um, uh, you know these are cross maidan azad maidan these are the grounds which uh, everybody is aware of it but um how many of you uh, know about major ramesh dadkar uh, the cricket uh, the ramesh uh, major dadkar uh, ground which is situated uh, opposite ria college podar college why i want to talk about this ground not because i have played uh, my uh, school cricket or college cricket but this particular ground have produced one of the top most cricketers in the world okay this particular ground if you see it's a it's not a big ground okay it has got like you know if you see from that right side it starts from matunga jimkhana uh, then there is a dadar parsi zorastian which have produced um, lalchand rajput and chandrakant pandit balwinder singh sandhu played lot of uh, games on that particular uh, ground then next to dadar parsi zorastian is the newin sports club newin sports club at that time produced one of the fastest bowler uh, india uh, had ever produced that is panduram salgaonkar he was very raw and then he was sent uh, to alf rover uh, cricket academy in london uh, but some other you know he 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 didn't uh, maybe his action was changed or something we do not know but um, you know he he didn't excel uh, after that uh, then currently uh, from new hin uh, we have dhawal kulkarni who is playing for india uh, then there is a, a dadar union i would say dadar union um i would say is having huge amount of uh, influence not only in mumbai cricket but uh, also on indian cricket because this particular ground is known for uh, this uh, dadar union is known for discipline and punctuality and fortunately the dadar union had uh, the madhav mantri sir who was a very strict disciplinary uh, he will uh, you know i mean his aura was such that everybody you know uh, the the discipline came in born basically to all the cricketers who were, and it is a very uh, tin shed less than 3000 300 square feet uh, structure at that particular time lot of cricketers like i would say um, uh, the dadar union have produced uh, subhash gupte ramnath keni uh, madhav mantri narain tamani uh, ramnath parker sunil gavaskar dilip vengsarkar sanjay mandrekar the fleet of cricketers you know who have excelled in indian cricket team basically as a matter of fact more than 300 test matches were played from two uh, cricketers from dadar union uh, like sunil gavaskar and sandeep uh, and uh, dilip singh sarkar who have contributed more than about 241 test matches uh, for india so this is the legacy of uh, dadar union and uh, you know before the uh toss it was like you know half an hour or 45 minutes before the toss everybody had to assemble in the other union this was the thing and everybody was looking forward basically when i still remember uh when i was a kid um i would definitely go and sit on a ruya katta when there is a match between the other union and shivaji park jimkhana because shivaji park jimkhana another brilliant club at that particular time i am also a member of shivaji park uh, jimkhana and that particular jimkhana had uh um, solid players like uh, ajit wadekar ramakant desai padmakar shivalkar chandu patankar they had a legacy sandeep patil so 
lot of cricketers have come up from and then the Ranji Trophy players were like in both the teams basically. So it was like a cream of uh, uh, the top class cricketers and that's why this matches would be absolutely brilliant you know to see the other union show for Jim Khan. There was a rivalry but a very everybody they played a very hard cricket. Even uh, the Sir Sunil Gavaskar also says that uh, in the other union has taught me the discipline and it is not on the field but off the field to play the game hard way but in a very fair manner. Even Dilip Bengsarkar also said that like you know the other union whatever was planned it was implemented. So it was a very very um, excellent uh, discipline factor thanks to uh, Madhav Mantri sir. And I still remember one uh, particular incident uh, where Ramnath Kini, uh, he played for India a test match and then he came back uh, for the other union uh, match and uh, he was a bit late and um, you know the toss before the match is about 10 minutes or 15 minutes before the game starts. So uh, Madhav Madhri sir was on the uh, wicket of Dadar Union and with the rival captain and the umpires and then Ramnath Kini sir got down from the car and he rushed on the ground and he said in Marathi, uh, Are Madhav me aloe. And Madhav Mantri being the strict disciplinarian and though he played the test match in the same week for India, he told Ramnath Kini, Tikkanath Gharida, go home from there. You know, such was a discipline as far as the other union is concerned. Coming back to my uh, school, which has been like, um, uh, it has given me the, actually the foundation uh, to play uh, cricket. Um, as I told you that uh, we used to assemble after the school gets over. This is how I actually got attracted towards uh, cricket, you know, the, my friends who would come to my uh, building and before they would take the school bus to go back home and then we would play for like, you know, if we, even if we get 15-20 minutes, so but we'll play a small game and then this is how like everybody was looking forward to play cricket after the school uh, gets over and <clears throat> this is how I started my uh, cricket journey from my building compound. And then, of course, I went on to play for my uh, school in Giles Shale, then Harris Shale, and then, um, of course, then I went to uh, Ruya College. So, our school was very, um, what I would say, the, the, having a very good uh, cricket team, and so was uh, Balmon Vidya Mandir and uh, uh, I think Anjuman Islam. Because we had Dilip Pengsarkar, Balmon had Sandeep Patil, uh, Anjuman Islam had uh, Gulam Parkar, Zulfikar Parkar. So we had, uh, you know, all these three schools would always come in the top three uh, in the inter school uh, championship. And then we got Gail Shield, we got Harry Shield, we were champions. And this is how, like, you know, um, uh, when you win, you or normally you get uh, automatically motivated. And then, of course, um, I was fortunate enough to uh, get into Ria College. And I'm from that old SSC batch. Okay, that is like you have a 10th standard now. We had a 11th standard, the last batch of old SSC. And in that particular uh, thing, like you know, when I go to the college, then it was like a four year college, like first year BSc, then inter science, and junior BSc, senior BSc. So uh, I enjoyed my inter college yet, um, with Sandeep initially was my uh, captain. And then we thoroughly enjoyed playing uh, cricket. Four years I played uh, inter college yet. And um, after that, I uh, decided to uh, do my postgrad, that is MSc in Organic Chemistry. But my thing was always cricket. Okay, and um, it has basically come to me uh, because of my father, who was my uh, role model, because he was captain of Pune Engineering College, and he won the championship in uh, Pune and uh, Inter College at that particular time. So that was also another factor. Um, it, it, it motivated me and um, so this is uh, and then of course from uh, Ria College after I finished and then I was doing MSc and in between I was fortunate to get admission in uh, US in my uh, Pennsylvania State University for my master's program and I knew that when I go there there will not be a cricket per se so um, you know so I extended my tenure in Mumbai because I wanted to play inter college this is what was the passion to play cricket and of course then I went to US I did my um, uh, completed my program but in the meantime cricket was something at the back of my mind I was always missing okay so uh, how do I do it so luckily I was fortunate enough to meet uh, a friend from Sri Lanka 
who was uh, doing his uh, PhD and he did um, uh, he he played for all Sri Lankan school. So when we just chatted in the evening and then we expressed that you know uh, the passion for cricket. So he said uh, he knows another uh, Australian guy who was doing a post uh, doctorate. So he said he's also uh, wants to play cricket, and then this is how we, um, you know, started uh, meeting different people, and then we held a meeting in our uh, university, and luckily we could make 14-15 um, a team of 14-15, uh, maximum very Indians, and then we met the sports secretary of our university, being an American, he didn't know what is cricket. And uh, so we spoke to him, explained to him cricket, but he was very, very cooperative. And then, uh, you know, he gave us AstroTurf because when we told him we need an AstroTurf, and then he gave us a baseball ground, okay, to practice as well as to play uh, cricket matches. But um, uh, the thing is, uh, you know, how do we practice? So, like, you know, if you see the baseball on the television, they have that net trolley, you know, with the rubber wheel. So, you know, everything was set for us. So we had an AstroTurf, we had this, and we didn't have the equipment. So the university gave us a grant also at that time of about, I think, $500 or something of that sort. And we imported the kit from uh, US, uh, sorry, from Canada. And then we started uh, playing cricket, inviting different universities, and then we would go out. They, the university gave us the van also to travel. So all in all, like, you know, the summer I was looking forward to play cricket, being uh, the passion uh, for the game. And this is, and then I finished my education. I worked a little bit in US, and then I came down uh, to Mumbai. And of course, then I uh, joined Nirlon on my technical qualification. And um, I worked there for about uh, six months or eight months in Nirlon. And um, then I knew that they had, they had a very solid cricket team. Sir, 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 sir. Yeah. Uh, we are, we, we'll have a commercial break, okay. a coffee break, and we are back again. Yes. We are back again. Stay there. We are back. Sir, we'll have a coffee. Raju sir, uh, I suppose we had our cup of coffee now. Uh, it's time for us to interact with students. And uh, I, I'll uh, open this uh, forum. Our Dr. Sangeeta Srivastava, our honorable principal, who is the uh, motivation behind all, all these things, whatever the initiatives we do. And uh, she is also a keen uh, follower of cricket. Uh, not only cricket, but all sports and everything. So uh, I request uh, Sangeeta Srivastava, ma'am, to interact with Raju sir. Uh, sir? Yeah. Oh. Namaste. <laughs> yeah. A very warm welcome to you, uh, to our college. And the, just now that whatever we heard from you from the ground was absolutely marvelous. I Thank cannot you, explain in my words because that has been my dream for the children who play, who are into cricket or any other sport. I always tell them that, see, you should not ignore your studies because ultimately, it's going to help you and the way you explained how you took the passion of cricket everywhere you went, that is I think the best thing out of everything that you have said. And it is very, very inspiring and motivating. So, sure, thank you. if you ask me, I'm not a, a big, I mean, into too much into cricket. Cricket does not become my religion like all of you and like Samir sir who brings cricket in everything while he's teaching in, in the class also and if you happen to pass by, you will hear, always hear examples of cricket, which is a great thing to do because all the children, all the people are mad after cricket and cricket is a religion in India that we all agree. 
sir i want you to uh, tell us more about your nilon team and uh, also we saw the pictures of, uh, of yours with all these great people the god of cricket cricket so please tell us a little more about it i think everybody wants to know more about that also yeah yeah thank you very much madam and um, it was great uh, meeting you uh, first of all as i uh, mentioned uh, earlier that uh, i joined nirlon uh, i think way back in early 80s when i came back from us and uh, since i finished uh, my masters program and nirlon had a factory in goregaon and um, also at some other place um, outside mumbai but goregaon was a place where it was a polyester plant and with my uh, technical qualification i joined that company uh, purely um, in the plant okay but and i worked there for about a one year or something like that but when i came back and then i knew always that uh, there is a strong cricket team and they were uh, actually um, the people whom i am not uh, i always you know look at them like sunil gavaskar i mean he's a legend and then i was also wanted to take a transfer because i wanted to pursue my passion in cricket and then you know i was lucky then i got a transfer from a factory to their head office in worli and this is how i inter- started uh, my journey back uh, in cricket uh, with nilon cricket team and nilon at that time before i joined uh, the head office uh, if i'm not mistaken they had uh, six test players like sunil gavaskar sandeep patel uh, karsan ghavri uh suru nayak um balwinder sandhu and ravi shastri i think you know even today any ipl team will not have that luxury of having six uh, indian players in one team so that sort of a uh, team we had um, in nirlon um when i joined uh, ravi shastri and balwinder sandhu they were not part of it they left for some other um, uh, organization Uh, but i was lucky to meet all these uh, stalwarts basically i mean you know the initially only i would look at them i only knew sandeep but i only look at them and then i learned a lot from them you know especially um, sunil gavaskar and other players also and very down to earth everybody was there and then the rest of the team was completely uh, full of uh, top uh, ranji trophy players so even um, uh, we had such a strong team that Uh, only 11 10 players so 12 13 14 also were you know those are the people who played ranji trophy or a high class of cricket in university or something so i learned a lot uh, basically from them and so and then after sunil gavaskar uh, sandeep patel uh, became the captain uh, because sunil wanted to focus on indian cricket uh, having played for many years for india so and sandeep I, i can tell you one thing is one of the best captain i have seen i mean you know they our nirlon have won i think 12 out of 13 uh, championships under uh, uh, sandeep patel he was a great motivator and very fun loving guy and he could uh, you know uh, so everybody was looking forward to play uh, and enjoy um, under sandeep we had uh, played a um, uh, few uh, tournaments in india which we of course won and um, i was a part of uh, like for example moin tawla it is in hyderabad and we had only 11 players at that time 11, sorry 12 players we had because uh, most of those uh, players were on duty for india or uh, for mumbai or some kind of other engagement so we had only about 12 players and we came in the finals and in the finals we had all india state bank which had all other stalwarts like uh, vishwanath uh, brijesh patel rajapini so all the top guns raghuram bhat you know so very good side and luckily and i mean you know it was uh, my experience you want to play with such uh, legends of uh, indian cricket and we won that particular championship also so like you know we have wherever we have won we have always uh, excelled uh, as far as nilon is concerned and of course we had a uh, vasu paranspe who was one of the finest um, uh, cricketing person i have uh, met honestly speaking he was a great motivator he would bring the best out of the players with his uh, uh, you know uh, with his one liner or um, i mean you know he was he was, he was a great man basically he unfortunately just passed away very recently but um, so you know i was also lucky uh, to be a part of um, uh, the team with uh, vasu sir and uh, uh, of course the legends like gavaskar and gavaskar was like 
honestly very humble person uh, he moved he, from hindu colony he moved uh, to worli where um, it's, it's a building called sports field so all the top cricketers they stay in that particular building but his parents uh, would still live in our uh, colony so like you know when we used to meet in uh, early and then he would say rajiv if you are going home for lunch can i join you and then like me and sunil uh, we will come in my car and then uh, you know i would drop him to his house and then you know to meet his friends so very nice person i was very lucky and uh, fortunate and very witty person i can tell you that and today also with god's grace like you know we are good friends uh, we occasionally we meet because he is continuously traveling but um, i am very lucky you know and uh, what i would say about uh, vasu sir is he um, was a great disciplinarian also because from madam mantri then he took over uh, the other union which i mentioned in my uh, talk when i was just on the ground uh, some time back so vasu sir was uh, like you know he had a typically um, what i would say uh, you know he would tie a white handkerchief around his neck and he was a brilliant fielder actually that time fielding was not a, a the important factor but like you know he cultivated how uh, important the fielding is and um, you know he was brilliant basically and then when i was in school as i told you like i used to go and uh, occupy one seat on our college katta just to see uh, those matches you know when i was in that particular uh, school called uh, king george high school so this is basically my uh, journey as far as uh, merlon is concerned you know and then of course i was there with them for about two years and then everybody then you know there was some issue in the company and then this uh, some of those uh, cricketers then they moved to uh, another uh, organization called sangres mafatlal but i moved up completely out of cricket basically and uh, then i was uh, you know joined my i mean you know started my business so this is my journey basically so i enjoyed uh, my journey with my mom definitely it is very very inspiring and i think all the cricket fans would dream of you know having company of such people that you have mentioned just now the cricketers the the real good people and humble and not only just brilliant cricketers but also very good human beings so yes i think our students listening to you must will be really thrilled to hear about it and i know that uh, as a cricketer you you are always into it you dream about it you sleep cricket you eat cricket but i can see that you wear cricket also <laughs> tell us something about cricket club of india i can see the logo there yeah okay. see cricket club of india i can tell you madam was uh, like is anybody's dream to play uh, or just to visit uh, like samir sir said uh, you know visit some, such uh, uh, backgrounds like one kid stadium or something so when i was see, i i didn't play a uh, high higher grade of cricket because i didn't look cricket as a, a career to be honest with you so i didn't even bother about it that i want to play a higher like you know uh, to, to mumbai or something like that i my dream was okay i get up i i want to go and enjoy my cricket i want to enjoy my day and that's about it you know because i i knew that you know one has to be a brilliant cricketer in order to survive as a cricket as a career so i knew uh, that it may not be possible as far as i am concerned so i was also concentrating on my studies so i knew that without the studies i will not be having any footing uh, for my future so i was concentrating on my studies but at the same time um, cricket also i was pursuing uh, as a passion and uh, when i came back in i think in early 90s um, i i wanted to become a member of cc and at that time it was very tough and then uh, uh, madhavanti sir i am very i was very close to him uh, at that time i used to call him uncle so i told uh, uncle uh, i need a membership so how do i go about it so he said don't worry i'll speak to rajpai that's rajsing dungarpur was another great person i have come across he was our president uh, he had an aura basically you know he was a prince from dungarpur but he uh, as you just told me about cricket that he would sleep with cricket he would breathe with cricket you know so he had a word with raj singh uh, dungarpur uh, about me and raj bhai uh, immediately obliged i went and filled the form and i luckily i became a member in the early 90s basically so this was like the the start and i have read about uh, cci earlier because i was always fascinated because it's a historical club so i said let me go through a little history of uh, cci before i join and then i 
I was so happy uh, because uh, it was like I think that institution was um, it was uh, I think uh, incorporated in sometime in 1933. Uh, with the um, object of uh, promoting uh, cricket and uh, sports in our country, okay? And uh, its contribution uh, for uh, sports and particularly in cricket have given its unique place in the history, uh, not only in India, but all over the globe, okay? So uh, there was a businessman called Grand Govin uh, from Delhi at that time. I'm talking about the early 30s. And um, he, that was his basic idea. And he conceptualized that idea in uh, establishing this great institute, okay, uh, on a reclaimed land uh, by donating 90,000 square yards at that time, abetting the Arabian Sea. And this proposal was uh, uh, given the permission by the then uh, governor of Bombay called Lord Brebon. And that is how uh, it is today also, it is called a Brebon Stadium because it is Lord Brebon, okay? And then um, it was inaugurated in, I don't know, but I think November, December, 1937, this particular CCI uh, with the match between uh, Lord Tennyson's 11 versus CCI. And at that time, then there was a pentagular, uh, then, then, then we started hosting a lot of matches till 1974 on our ground. Uh, before the Wankhede Stadium came up and then the whole cricket shifted to Wankhede Stadium. Uh, but after that also, we kept on getting uh, good matches from thanks to BCCI. Uh, we hosted a Champions Trophy, uh, which is like called a mini World Cup. Um, then we hosted a Women's World Cup. Even as a matter of fact, the first uh, T20 match under lights, which was played in India was at CCI. So Rath Singh Dungarpur had a vision and a dream to have the light towers and then uh, he constructed those, uh, uh, what he constructed this light towers. And the first India-Australia match was played on CCI. That was, I think, in the 90s or something. I'm not too sure. And so this is basically um, the history of CCI. And luckily, you know, CCI always is, the name itself shows how important cricket is for the club. And luckily then, um, you know, we have got uh, tie up with uh, different clubs as a reciprocal uh, arrangement um, with all over the world, basically. So we went, I, I was lucky to go to England uh, with the team to play cricket uh, twice in 1998 and um, 2002, something like that. I was lucky to go to Australia uh, uh, on a tour in the millennium that was before Sydney Olympics. And then, of course, my first tour with CCI was in 1997 uh, for uh, East Africa, that is in Kenya. So all in all, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed. And then I, I being passionate, then I uh, took a little bit administration, uh, you know, in the cricket community. Then I took the team to <laughs> Singapore, uh, where we got an invite uh, to play. The, I, I, all these years, we have been uh, traveling to different countries on our social engagement, social tours, you know. But this time we got an invitation from Singapore Cricket Club to participate for the T20 uh, tournament, which is the best club in uh, in the world. So we had a team from South Africa Cricket Academy, uh, Melbourne Cricket Club from Australia, Kowloon from Hong Kong, uh, Sinhalese from Sri Lanka. So the, you know the top teams, and uh, believe me, like you know we had about seven or eight eighteen players. We didn't have that strong team what we generally have always in Mumbai. And then we had a few other good players uh, from our uh, B team, but they're very good players. And we went on to win the championship, you know, for the first time when we played. And very proud of the boys. And then we got, I still remember, 5,000 uh, Singapore dollars. It's not Singapore dollars, 5,000 is big, but it's not a money because we are a very uh, um, rich club uh, with a big heritage, basically. So money was not a criteria but lifting that trophy by the captain itself was something was icing on the cake you know so you know all the members were happy so we got a lot of i we I, you know we as a team always get support from our members our um, executive committee so you know cricket always stays as a top priority as far as our uh, club is concerned obviously so i think that's why i would say yeah <laughs> Yes, yes, it's, it's so interesting yeah. to know all these things that you're telling. Um, coming back to the game itself, I have always uh, seen that cricket is a unique mix of, you know, individual game as well as a team game. So, 
now today the young generation we have also so many students you know practicing day and night they want to be in some team they begin with the harris shield and then they want to get into the state team and all uh, can you give them a guidance like what should be their priority you know the the self game or the team or or a, how is has to be balanced thing what do you say see i can i i can tell uh, one thing for sure okay i i can only talk because of cricket but i can tell as a message to the students take any sports you know forget if you don't like cricket just 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 forget pick up what you like you want to play badminton you want to play football you want to play soccer um, uh, table tennis swimming jogging or you want to go for cycling you know i have seen uh, people who have not done the cycling for 40 years 30 years and they start even at age of 50 and uh, now they take it as a passion they go for different um, uh, you know the long uh, cycle so any sports i would recommend that they the students must take okay because a sports you know can make big influence on uh, your um, individual as a person it's not the studies but the, the the sports because you know when you are playing sports with passion i'm saying okay not as a compulsion but as a passion then it builds your the mental uh, health it gives you a lot of self confidence uh, it gives you what i would say i mean you know you're off focus because nowadays there is so much pressure you know uh, with the studies and with uh, the world going so at a such a fast rapid pace uh, now we are unfortunately we are in a covid era but otherwise the the life is extremely fast you know what it was earlier and now is 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 this thing even the studies the the competition the level you know the, at that time i can tell you that uh, when i was from that old acc even if you get uh, 60% or 70% 70% in university at that time was something which was like exceptionally is a brilliant student you know so this was the thing you know 75% then you are genius and right? you can walk in any medical college or engineering college you know it was like that now you if you have to get something 90 95% or something even to get an admission so it's it's, it's a bit of frustrating i can tell you for the students one month two months short and they don't get admission in colleges you know i mean the college where they want to look at it so sports is one thing that can take that push pressure out and every day or three times a week or four times a week they must have um, you know the, the play some some sports whether it is um, like you know outdoor sports for example like soccer like cricket or um, swimming or um, any anything so that gives uh, you are uh, like you know physical fitness and like you know mentally it, it makes you strong if you play indoor uh, sports like uh, table tennis or um, badminton or even a carrom i would say then it gives you uh, what i would say you know uh, it develops your concentration your focus okay so each one has its own uh, plus minus things you know but sports will definitely help uh, the students the sports will help the uh, you know uh, they are fresh because half an hour or something even if they play three to four times a week i mean i would definitely get any sports i said here i'm just talking about cricket because this program thanks to samir sir is because of cricket so but i can i can say that any sports is equally important you know in life yes very rightly said and that's why you can see we have a big ground and we we encourage our children to go to the ground even if they have 15 minutes of break or something so now but as you mentioned that world is running very fast and due to technology also uh, can you tell our students the difference between the hard work and the smart work because everybody today everybody wants quick results and everybody yeah. wants to have a smart goal they want to have a uh, uh, a smart uh, work so that they get the results faster yeah can this replace hard work and how, what is the importance of hard work uh i i would say i mean if you ask me i can relate this question to the cricket but i can tell you that you are asking me so many question you should be an anchor in some uh, television sports <laughs> channel i mean there are such uh, the, you know the, these questions are like that so then coming back uh, to your uh, question the smart work is uh, it's it's like i would say like ipl you know what's happening in ipl 
okay so what i would say um, it's a short format okay just go there play your game and you don't have that time to think and focus because you know it's a very fast game you get my point and uh, so it's it's like uh, what else and, and as compared to the other one which you said hard uh, something hard work right hard work hard, okay. hard work yes work okay. hard okay so it's like uh, uh, smart work is like having a butterflies in the tummy so you go either hit out or get out okay you play a blinder innings in one particular match but then again you know there is no consistency so that's why even in ipl you will not see a consistency coming a player and batting like you know maybe that player will bat two matches three matches but not that full season consistency so it is uh, what i would say it's a smart work hard work is like um, it's like test cricket okay i'm just comparing that with uh, cricket i i have um, heard uh, there was there was one uh, famous uh, commentator come writer uh, englishman uh, called henry blofeld and he mentioned that um, uh, one day cricket is an exhibition and test cricket is like an examination so this is the answer to your question the hard work basically i would say it oils up your creative and innovative ideas you know that's what i my answer to that it gives you like a inner strength so this is the difference i would say you know the shorter format and then uh, the longer format and unfortunately people and youngsters because uh, you know they prefer ipl okay but to me if you ask me the test cricket is a real cricket it's a essence of uh, cricket because uh, nowadays even if you have seen the recently concluded series in england we came back after one uh, one down and then we came back won that match and then uh, even a series before that we were in australia and we were all out for i think 36 and the whole moral was down at that time virat left uh, indian team Uh, for his personal reason and he came to india then there were a lot of injury issues in the indian team so it was a depleted uh, side and uh, virat is a very um, aggressive uh, captain and then his deputy ajinkya rani is a very calm composed person and uh, but he uh, you know he's also a very good motivator and then the whole uh, team then they decided that we got all out for 36 it's our pride is lost we need to redeem that particular pride and literally they fought like warriors and they won the next test match beating australia uh, in melbourne so that was something exceptional i would say and ajinkya rani he led from the front with a 100 so this shows even i have heard in one of the talk show that even bumrah you know he took a lot of initiative you know and helped the bowlers and he said we are one or two bowlers short so let's Uh, you know, um, uh, show that what potential we have or whatever. Like you know, they had a good motivation as talk, and they won. They won that particular, not only that test match. Then the, this year, in the first uh, week or for second week, they won the another test match, and they came back triumphant. You know, getting down 36 all out, winning that test series itself is something which. Is, so Indian cricket is having a great future because at that time in the 70s we were depending on only spinners, and the new ball was like I remember Gavaskar even opened the Indian bowling. He always opened the bowling as far as the. the innings is concerned you know facing lot of uh, the battery of fast bowlers and the quality of fast bowlers i would say uh, but you know he he stormed the entire um, i mean he he weathered the entire storm basically you know facing this bowler and he never wore a helmet you know such and he had completely he was focused he was um, what i would say uh, concentrating on each and every game at that time there was not that much of money and that is why i uh, appreciate sunil gavaskar because his contribution was immense as everybody knows on the field but very few people know his contribution off the field he's uh, what i would say he had uh, commanded such a respect that uh, players had implicit faith in him he is he is a person who showed the cricketers what the cricketers are today okay because there's so much money so it is uh, thanks to uh, gavaskar he is according to me is the first person to write his own uh, book 
called Sunny Days in 1976. Otherwise, the others like Ajit Wadikar have given their stories to uh, other writers. Okay, and then they would publish the book. He is, I was the first person to uh, write a newspaper column, he, his own newspaper column. Others, they, uh, you know, the newspaper would only print their name, but the story was written by some ghost writer. So it was Sunil who was uh, the first one to write his book, first one to write, uh, write the newspaper column, then uh, first one to do uh, what I would say uh, the commentator, you know. He showed the other cricketers that there is money in the commentary. So he joined Star and then he joined uh, Sony. You know, the rest is a history. He's the first one to, I would say, uh, started the modeling. So there is money in modeling. So that time there were, I think it was only modeling for two, three, because that concept wasn't there, you know. But he did for, I think, Big Jam, only Vimal, Thumbs Up at that time, two, three uh, corporate brands. And he's the one who, see, as I told you, there is there was not that much of money in cricket because uh, this entire uh, concept came of IPL and all this thing, and then the money started flourishing, basically. That time, uh, it was Gavaskar who decided uh, and brought this concept of benefit matches. So what is a benefit match is uh, like, um, you know, ex-test cricketer, um, they are struggling. So, you know, they will catch hold of a corporate and the corporate will assure them of X number of X amount of money. And uh, then the rest of the team players, the top players, basically, they will come and um, they will play that match for that particular X test cricketer. So the test cricketer was assured certain amount of money and the other cricketers also would get like, you know, that type 5,000, 10th or whatever, depending upon uh, what is your uh, stature? So that is how. So everybody made money in that particular thing. So he showed the way how um, you know. So his contribution of the field was immense. You know. Yeah. So I, even Dilip Bengsarkar also, I would say Dilip Bengsarkar. Uh, I know him, a uh, good friend of mine. But um, he he is the first cricketer, I would say, uh, to get the no first non-Englishman. To get three centuries on Lord. See, Lords, like cricket is our religion for any cricketer. It's a dream to play a match on Lords. Like Samir said, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was my dream uh, to go to CCI, you know. So for any cricketer to play a match at Lords itself is something which is big, you know. And to get a hundred or is a bowler get a five wickets is something extraordinary. But it was uh, the living circle who got three centuries back to back at Lords. This is a world record, I can tell you that. But the guy is so humble. He's, he has got his own portrait, you know, with his, um, uh, 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 in the Lord's uh, Museum. But this guy is so humble. So he said, okay, you know, I got this uh, 300 at source. And he, believe me, and there are brilliant uh, Englishmen, four Englishmen who have achieved this feat. I think Sir Jack Fox, Sir, um, uh, there is a Dennis Compton, uh, Sir uh, the Garf, uh, Jeffrey Boycott, and uh, some someone else I forgot. So these are the four earlier Englishmen who have achieved this feat. And our Dilip Bank Circle, we are so proud that you know from Mumbai, he is next to them. It was the first non a non Englishman, but he attributes his 400 set Kotla, you know, uh, Firosha Kotla in Delhi, because he got three against the West Indies and one against Australia. That time was it also. Uh, fantastic attack uh, so he attributes uh, that particular uh, uh, 400s uh, equally as his uh, lords i was just chatting with him the other day and he said um, indian team went to sharjah for one day uh, tournament and then he was dropped from the team and that time rat singh was the manager uh, the coach or whatever then rat singh told him uh, you don't fit in the scheme of things it really hurt him he respected Rajpai very well and then he played the finals and which uh, India lost that final the Javed Mian that hit that last ball six of Chetan Sharma. So uh, Gavis, uh, this uh, Vinsakar was very much hurt though he played the final. So immediately from Sharjah they went to England and he was determined to do extremely well and that is what he got his third hundred and he got runs against all the uh, counties uh, before the test matches.
and then the rest is a history and then you know he and then after that lots 100 he also got a 100 at headingley and headingley wicket is a very seeming track for and paradise for the bowlers and when the rest of the uh, batsmen were struggling it was dilip who was playing like he was playing on a um, a flat pitch and then he got a brilliant 100 so the same rasing dungarpur he came down after he got out and he was coming in the uh, back to the dressing room the rasing came down received him at the gate and he made a famous statement about dilip that in dilip wing circle we have a babar share yeah. oh. so the famous thing so this is like you know a lot of things i can talk about cricket but um, i don't know how much time you have but uh, we can go on and on so Yes, we can go on and on, but I'm sure whatever you have uh, spoken about your experiences and the stories of history, I would say they have made history. Uh, our young uh, budding cricketers here, we have so many of them here. And um, by your last uh, talk, it is obvious that there is no shortcut to success. Hard work is required and hard work makes you what we have seen our heroes of the, on the cricket field. The Babar Sheer and others. Uh, it cannot come without hard work. You have to sweat it out. Yes. And there, there are no shortcuts. And yes, Absolutely. hard work will make you smart, of course. Correct, correct, correct. And if, so, they, if, they, if the students can balance both the things, uh, I think they will have a brilliant future. Correct. Because they have to balance because now the game is changing so much. Everything is changed. Look at the technology. It is so... Um, I mean, amazing the way cricket is played today and the way it was played in those days. So, smartness is definitely required. Thank you so much, uh, sir. And uh, in the end, I would just say that maybe you can give a few, like, uh, you know, we give a, a spoonful of medicine for the, for the last lap. You can give us some tips to our budding cricketers over here. We have few teachers in our uh, science college whose children are doing very well in the field. I mean, they are just playing the uh, children's cricket under 19 and under 17. And um, there are many others in the college and school. So if you can give them some tips maybe before you leave. Uh, what I can only uh, suggest is, um, as you rightly said, there is no shortcut for hard work. Okay. Don't bother where, uh, you know, uh, whether, and, and first thing and foremost, remove that thought that each, each student wants to become Sachin Tendulkar today, okay? But it's, let's face it, it is not possible. Even the parents have got very high expectations. So when the parents take the uh, child to the coach and they said, you know, we want to make, uh, I want to make my son, can you do that? Like, you know, it's not easy. So I have been attending a lot of conferences globally. So in, in uh, US, uh, when I go to attend a conference, the first lecture is always a lecture uh, of a speaker who's not connected in our industry, basically professional industry. So he's a motivational speaker. So like, you know, once I heard about crisis management, like, you know, after 9-11, uh, the, the speaker was a police commissioner of New York City and the, the conference was in Orlando. So he uh, mentioned how he controlled um, the New York City after this terror attack. So it's again a motivational, you know, to hear them speak for one and a half hours. And uh, relating my answer to your question, uh, the next time uh, it was related to sports. So there was this very highly qualified coach and um, he was hired by a university to train and to coach uh, their basketball team. And he said, I went to the basketball court and um, of course, whoever wanted to play basketball, I told them because this is the first time I was to meet them. And he told the entire audience, none of the single person would look at a basketball player. The students were like either fat or, uh, you know, they were not sportsmen and they just came. They just came on the ground. And I said, am I going to... Um, you know, coach this team. But then he said, okay, you know, he picked up, say, you know, about 20 odd. And then um, the motivational factor is very important. You know, how man management, how you communicate. So it's very important from the coach point of view for the students. And he inculcated the entire confidence level of the students. And those students who didn't even uh, held uh, basketball in their life, he worked very hard on this particular thing. You know, they, they called a dietitian, they made them 
fit and they made them agile and everything. And then he worked a lot of things. And he said in the first year, the same, these boys or girls who were like, you know, when I saw them and never played basketball in their life, that particular year, he said, first year, we went on to uh, semifinals, you know, the basketball. So this was something, but it's entirely up to the coach. Okay, so the motivation is and giving the self confidence to the uh, to your students is of utmost importance. See, winning and losing is a part of game. Okay, if everybody wants to win throughout, it's impossible. Not all cricketers are Sachin Tendulkar or Sunil Gavaskar or Dilip Mansurkar. So that thought has to be you know taken out from the students' mind, but they must play. A sports, any sports they can play, which will help them in future because it's as I mentioned about it, it gives a lot of um, uh, other your organs, uh, brain, and everything. It, 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 it gives you a lot of uh, concentration and self confidence. It's, that's so, so nicely part. put up, sir. Yes, uh, game comes later first. It, come, it is all about your personality, your fitness, your attitude, your yes. mental makeup. Yes, very right. Well, I, I did just tell you, I'm sorry to interrupt, about the hard work what Sachin Tendulkar was doing, you know, continuously yeah. he was playing cricket, okay. He come from, his parents, um, uh, they used to live in Bandra and uh, their, their literature, they were like masters in that particular uh, field. Sachin never took school seriously because continuously he was playing uh, this thing. So, Asu Paranspe, he was uh, uh, a director of their, uh, uh, appointed as a director cricket for the youngsters. And at that time of era where there was Martin Go, Richie Richardson, very top cricketer. So, Vasu sir was asked, uh, according to you, who is the best cricketer? So, the reporter was expecting uh, answer, one of those West Indian, Australian, Indian or something. He said, if you want to know my honest answer, Today, there is a boy, a 10-year-old who is playing on a Maidan of Mumbai called Sachin Tendulkar. You watch out for him. You know, it, it, like, you know, he, he, he had that super talent. Even Mumbai team, when it went to Baroda, okay, Sachin was 15 years old. And in the night, Sachin would not sleep. You know, he would take the leather ball. He will start playing against the wall alone. Okay, so in the night there was a lot of sound. So the manager came running and he said, "Who is disturbing everybody? All the other guests and everything." So he went to Asu sir. He was a manager. He said, "Sir, this is what has happened. One of your uh, boys is uh, making a lot of noise." So he said, "Who is it?" So sir came. Asu sir came with the manager. Then they saw Sachin batting. He said, "He told the manager, are you crazy? You better go and help him doing the fielding." You know, because tomorrow he's going to be a superstar and then you will regret not helping him. You know, it was like that, that sort of a was also, well, you know, hard work, there's no shortcut for hard work. That's what I just wanted to. You're so story. right. Yes, I have heard this story by uh, Sachin's father himself once we had invited him once upon a time when he was alive. And he said that this boy was talented, of course, but he was very hardworking. Yes. yes. Very, very hardworking. And uh, really that is that puts him apart from the others. Yeah, and he was committed, you know, like very commi a commitment. Yes, a lot of commitment. Of like, uh, 15, 16 years of age, Sangres Mafatlal, they had an adoption scheme. So at that time, Sachin and Vinod Kamli, uh, they had a world record, you know, in the partnership. So they were uh, uh, hired by Sangresh Mafatlal and they sponsored their educational fees, the books, the uniforms, the cricket gear and one trip to London every year. So this was like, and plus 200 rupees some stipend at that time. And when such, and with the condition that when they turn 18, they both will continue to play. Uh, they will get a job in uh, Sangresh Mafatlal and they will continue to play for uh, Sangresh. So, and then Sachin, at the age of 18, already became a superstar. He was in a different league. And then when our, the Sangresh Mahfudlal went uh, and pl uh, playing one match, Shai Sudhir, <laughs> somewhere in Agra. So they told Sachin, Sachin, in case if you come in the finals, will you please come and play? So Sachin said, yes, definitely I will come and play. And uh, when Saturday, uh, they won the semi-final, they informed Sachin. Sachin was in Siliguri, you know, way, where is Agra and where is Siliguri. So, Sachin was playing a benefit match for Sunil Walson. And um, when he came to know that he has to go to Agra, 
so he played that benefit match and then uh, he came from chartered uh, aircraft to calcutta from calcutta uh, he took a normal aircraft to delhi and uh, sangrace did the arrangement to pick him up from airport so he reached hotel by 10:30 or something and at that time the matches would start in agra because it was may june it was a very scorching heat you know with the high temperature and all this thing so the matches would start at 7 in the morning so the players had dinner with sachin and uh, then uh, you know 6 o'clock was like you know assembling in the lobby for breakfast or whatever and they came to the ground the match started at 7 and at last drink interval one of my friend uh, you know he mentioned this story one of the last drink interval um, sangres wanted 80 odd runs in 8 overs okay and they were playing against super uh, bowling attack of rajender goel chetan sharma and stalwarts at that time and 80 odd runs in 8 overs and there in the middle there was two finest hard hitters in indian cricket sachin tendulkar and sandeep patel so sachin in his boyish voice he told sandeep uh, ata pan chalu karuya and it's like you know now this is the time to uh, uh, change the gear you know what we call in cricket and believe me both of them they started hammering and they achieved that target 80 odd runs in 5 overs so such was a commitment then he flew from siliguri all the way you know the so much travel even delhi to agra you know how much time it takes by uh, car you know so you know this is this is why then you become exceptionally talented so the hard work no no shortcut for hard work ma'am uh, it's sorry yes, to interrupt you ma'am yes, just give me to, a minute uh, ma'am uh, i uh, think we Yes, yes, Amir sir. Ma'am, there is time. one. Uh, the same question was asked to Sir Isaac Vivian Alexander Richards, one of the greatest of all. Okay. What could you define uh, hard work and uh, uh, smart work? So he said, uh, ordering a pizza is a uh, smart work, and cooking the food is a uh, hard work. So Vivian said, this to cook is a uh, hard work, and to order a pizza is what he defines as a uh, smart work. wonderful sir uh, thank you when uh, uh, sir ma'am uh, uh, i think we Rajiv can sir? ask uh, if you have 5 uh, 10 minutes we can ask amongst the audience they can yes, raise yes, their hand if they want to ask something or talk to uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah ma'am there is mr dr anil kumar is it uh, the guest of uh, someone from you so we can co-host him dr uh, anil kumar rajiv sir yeah, is yeah, it yeah, from yeah yeah He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anil anil kumar, okay. just give me a minute just give me sir so um Raju sir is I also request made a all the sir. audience uh, yes uh, all the audience uh, you can if you want to talk to uh, Parukar sir Raju sir you can raise your hands and ask questions any one of you Ma'am by the time uh, we have Dr Anil Kumar uh, oh, sir yes, can you yes. can you uh, have a word with us for a minute Dr Anil He's Kumar thank you sir thank, thank you very much sir thank thanks to Sangeeta ma'am for giving me the opportunity and then I joined here by the invitation of uh, Parulkar sir because always hearing to Dr. Parulkar is uh, always goosebumps. I I don't have any words because he is being a scientist. I am a scientist uh, for most of his uh, students. Uh, think I have some inventions on my name like the fast card, mosquitoes, and other things. I am uh, working with uh, Raju sir and observing him for the last uh, five twenty five years or so. So always listening to me even at this stage being a colleague to him. is so so inspiration the game ta- taught us lot of discipline courage and then you know taking that risk risk taking abilities is one thing which is very very important for students so everybody is a student till the last breath of the life that's what uh, rajesh sir always tells us so this this inspired me a lot the other side of it where i am more interested with rajesh sir is that there is a game of cricket there is also insect of cricket <laughs> so his business professional business is managing the crickets i think that that topic that part he has not touched at all and i think that is more difficult <laughs> than managing the game of cricket right rajesh sir can you please tell us what yes. inspired you to take the professional business of managing the insect crickets <laughs> Uh, just to tell you madam uh, dr anil kumar makapatti he is uh, a legend in our uh, of our industry one of the finest speaker uh, globally recognized uh, i always look at him like a godfather if there is any query and he's always there not only to me but he helps so many other uh, 
Okay. So coming back to your uh, question, I had to survive, isn't it? Like, you know, I, I left Nirlon, I didn't know what to do. And this, uh, I, I wanted to do some other businesses, not uh, this uh, pest management uh, industry. I didn't want to join, basically. And I had three, four other uh, projects. Unfortunately, it's a destiny. It didn't work out. Okay. And so this was the only thing which was remaining. So I said, why not take a chance and uh, put my hand into this particular uh, industry? And this is how my journey started as far as our industry is concerned, Dr. Uh, that was way uh, back in the late 80s, basically. I didn't know this field because, see, I graduated, my uh, field was uh, polymer science, so there was nothing to do with this. Though I did one or two short courses, but that's about it, you know. But I took it as a challenge, Dr. Sir, because um, I said, if I have to survive, I must know this subject. I must know, uh, I, I, in, in my entire family, nobody did business. Okay, we all, my father was like, you know, serving and everybody else, my uncles and my cousins, they have all, had, all had jobs basically. And I wanted to do something different. I said, even if I, uh, you know, I just had to take a chance because if I was getting 100 rupees as a pocket money, I knew how to spend it, but I didn't know how to grow that 100 rupees to 110 rupees, you know? And this has literally taught me, I took it as a challenge and then I I came to this particular industry. And luckily I was very fortunate to meet people like, uh, excellent people like you. Sir, you are, by, by doing pest management, you are doing wonderful job, sir. You are actually not killing the insects like cockroaches, mosquitoes or uh, spiders or bed bugs and actually saving the lives of the people. You are protecting the lives of people from the malaria, dengue, chikungunya, yes. Zika, yes. yellow fever and all. I think yes. that is very proud uh, job which you are doing. That is nothing less, yes. no work is less. So yes, I think yes. you need to appreciate we, the other side of uh, your profession now. Wonderful yes. job. Yes. It must be inspiring yes. a lot of students, but killing a cockroach is not a petty job. You are, you are preventing the people yes. with diseases like diphtheria, cholera, dysentery, gastroenteritis and all. Thank you very much. Yeah, sir, creating awareness, time. creating awareness is is a key, basically. So, madam, um, uh, that is another passion of me, you know, to create awareness about public health. Okay, oh, I have done wonderful. a lot of uh, yeah, I have done a lot of jobs um, on creating free jobs, basically, uh, with the help of, of course, uh, Doctor Sir. We have uh, conducted um, educated people, basically, uh, the importance of uh, public health. You know how to uh, like, you know. Uh, control yourself from malaria, dengue, chikungunya, and other stuff. So, uh, I mean, you know, I was, that, I love doing that. That's the reason you have seen in those, some of those photos, all the top cricketers holding that post poster, that poster is of the uh, awareness uh, program. Okay. And I, whatever the context, uh, so little context I had, I went to the top uh, uh, fraternities of every field, like education. I went to Dr. Snehalata Deshmukh. She was then the vice chairman. Uh, of uh, Bombay University. Uh, then I went in sports to Dilip, Sunil, Sandeep, and you know the other cricketers, then the film personalities, and um, the, the medical. Uh, so everyone helped me, no, no money, nothing, and everybody helped me, especially the superstars, the films and the, uh, the sports field people. They helped this particular thing. So it was like 6 June, Every year is a, a World Pest Day. You have World Cancer Day, World Environment Day. So in our field, it is a 6th June is a World Pest Day. So that one year, everybody helped me. So I clicked the pictures with them. And then on 6th of June, I circulated all over the globe. Like, you know, this, this uh, the fraternity is standing by helping the, our community, our industry. So this is what, uh, you know, that is another thing I'm doing it. It's very, very inspiring and uh, interesting because so many things a person can do if you really want to. Uh, we have a student here, Sania. Sania, you want to ask a question? Yeah, unmute yourself. Good morning, ma'am, sir, and respected teacher. I would like to tell my opinion to share with you what I feel after this lecture. Thank you so much for your auspicious work you tell us. It really made me inspired. And I also thank my principal ma'am and all teachers that arranged this lecture and colleges. This is my first year in this college and I really appreciate it. And I thank you so much for all. And thank you so much sir, for this teacher. Thank that you. was nice, Sanya. Thank you. Uh, anyone I else? I assure you, madam, now we have spoken on you know this particular talk. 
but i would love to you know uh, come and take the students to talk about it then then i can take them on like a you know on a maidan cricket and so if they are interested definitely yes yes but, De- uh, definitely there um, anytime you need us like you know i will definitely i will yes uh, would love to come to your course. thank you yeah. for telling what i wanted to say <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. i was going to say this next that you are most welcome and as soon as we are open actually from monday that is 4th october the college and schools are going to begin and we are just keeping our fingers crossed that things should go well and the school and college should begin because children they need to be there in the classrooms yes. and the playground yes it's been yes. very bad it's been it's very sad Absolutely. that they have lost one and a half year but still we are just eagerly waiting that these things should be normal and if god willing everything is fine very soon we'll have you with us in the college uh, there is yes. another child anushka anushka you want to ask a question unmute yourself and ask ma'am actually i just want to ask i don't know whether sir has overcome the topic or not i joined late actually okay sir actually i am into a sport um, karate but i'm facing problem like uh, how to manage study and how to manage sport stress actually um, maybe sir also have started from his early 20s so maybe he knows and he even said that he is actually post graduated in organic chemistry so how he decided to go into the sport called cricket as well as he managed the organic chemistry okay you are anushka right what's your name i am anushka yeah anushka hi anushka uh, let me tell you uh, i made it very clear i never uh, took uh, cricket as a career okay so karate you have to decide whether you have to take it as a career or whether you want to uh, just um, uh, focus on studies as well as uh, you know because i always uh, been saying to all the students that you have to play some sports whatever karate what you are doing i can tell you an incident uh, i can relate this to a cricket like ajinkya rahane you know if you have seen him uh, he doesn't have a he is not a tall figure he is not a hefty figure you know he is a very diminutive uh, small uh, particular uh, person and he was very fascinated and he was an excellent cricketer right from school but he didn't have that much muscle so he wanted to develop his muscle uh, so he decided to go for judo and karate okay and to, and he became a black belt at that time so that is why you know in order to play such game of cricket you need to have uh, your the, the the muscles have to have some strength the mental um, uh, also focus has to be there so he took up karate because he he knew that for his physique this is this is the best sport so you have to go and learn karate if you are doing karate that's the best thing what you are doing completely enjoy what you want to do don't leave the studies you you have ma'am as an excellent uh, principal with uh, good professors team like samir and then uh, marjan sir and others i have not met but uh, i can assure you concentrate on your studies also because studies will take you to the next level okay unless and until you are exceptionally talented in karate So that is Shreya. Shreya. Shreya, la kai prashna bichar hai. Shreya, Shreya is very eager to ask questions. Yes, yes. Okay, Shreya. She was. I was looking for her. Shreya, please. Shreya, unmute. Shreya, unmute. Shreya, Devgarkar, unmute yourself. Ma'am, she, she. I suppose there is some net issue because she yes, was yes, repeatedly yes. raising her hand to speak. Uh, Raju sir. Yeah. sir i have received a message from ma'am uh, there is one request can i can i put a request uh, on behalf of ma'am she has posted me so i thought i should put in raju sir yeah sir uh, during diwali you know so many great legends of indian cricket and uh, we are so eager to speak and to know more about anybody who went to world cup of 1983 you are acquainted with all these legends so is it a, a humble request from ma'am actually and we all that if you could manage 40 minutes of these extraordinary people including you as well so we'll be highly obliged during the vacation uh, after diwali obviously after so the diwali celebration so that is between 1st november to 20th november yes 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 so yes please so you want someone uh, who has played uh, 1983 world cup world cup yeah sir you, yeah. it's up to you sir it's up to you yeah. you can it's yeah 
because see 1993 world cup is um, uh, you know it's it's very special at that time india was um, you know they were just playing it was a you know one day cricket they were just playing but what was the turn around was like you know india was i think uh, five down 17 only one seven runs or 18 runs something like that and kapil dev played a blinder innings of something brilliant yes. hundred okay yes, and everybody knows yes. anything and that time i think you know they must have got that feeling mm-hmm. that yes we can do it better and then you know they came to the semi finals that was yes. something they beat england in semi finals and then they came to the finals which you all know yes sir. so uh, surely give me some time i have to you can get it. anyone sir because and we will be obliged to hear from you and and uh, the legends of cricket from anyone across all these uh, friends of yours uh, shreya to me please bola shreya you please unmute yourself and sir is there because sir got uh, uh, i think she is not back there back, anyone she is not shreya? there sir okay anybody else wants to speak we have some guests anybody can otherwise we'll call, we'll wind up the session is 12:30 now yes ma'am we will we will uh, uh, i suppose there is samir sir uh, please yeah, go ahead and wind it up so uh, ma'am uh, once again thank you for providing this opportunity to interact with uh, such extraordinary person uh, raju parulkar and i hope students not only enjoyed the sense of cricket they also understood how uh, cricket or any sports which is uh, helpful for uh, life lessons you know to learn management skills and everything so it was a, a pleasure uh, raju sir to have you across and uh, hope to see you soon in our college and with our students so they can definitely get few more things about cricket and uh, uh, let let us uh, come back with the same medium during diwali uh, with you and and someone from uh, the field of cricket so with this uh, we end up for today's session tomorrow 10 o'clock we'll be having a virtual tour of sabarmati ashram i extend my invitation to dr anil kumar and obviously to raju sir if possible they can join in and uh, that's how it is and uh, with hope to see you tomorrow we wind up now uh, thank you thank you thanks thanks everybody thank you thank you sir thank you samir sir and thank you ma'am for giving us opportunity thank you and namaste once again yeah we'll see you soon thank you madam thank you yeah. dr anil kumar thank you very much thank you ma'am thanks very much blessings to all students